here is the PHP script for user registration now we are going to create the PHP script for user login so save this PHP script as inside the root directory of AMP server with file name login.php ok now there is no need of all these statements remove this one so for user login we need only username and password ok so now we have to create an SQL query Here is the SQL query. Select name, email from user info where name like username and password like password. Okay. Now we need to execute this one. So call the function called MySQLI query. First you have to pass the connection. Now you need to pass the SQL query. and save the result into a variable called the result now we can analyze the result so start some condition if mysqli number of rows number of rows number of rows of variable result is greater than 0 Okay, now we need to fetch the row. So call a function called the MySQLI fetch row and pass the result. Okay, now we need to get information like name and email. So variable name equal to variable row of 0th index now get email variable email equal to row of first index ok now create another variable code here the value is login success now we, we need to create some JSON data so for that here declare a variable called response and make it is make it as an array okay now we need to create the name value pair so call a function called array push now specify the target array response now call function called array now specify the name value pair first specify the key specify first specify code now specify name variable name uh, now specify email ok uh, now perform the JSON encode So echo JSON encode and pass the variable response. So this is in the case if the login success, otherwise login failed. So here declare some variables. Variable code equal to login failed. Now specify another variable called a message now specify a value for it user not found user not found try again ok now again the same thing we have to create the name value pair so call the function called array push uh, 
uh, now call the function array now specify the name value pair first one is called uh, now specify value for it here the value is called now specify second property for the JSON object second property is message uh, now specify value for it here it is variable message and finally perform the JSON encode so echo JSON encode and pass the response ok now we can close the connection to the database so call the function called mysqli close and pass the connection variable ok so now the PHP script for login is ready uh, before going to use this one we can test it so here we have some simple HTML document so I copy this HTML document go to the root directory of ARM server and put it here the file name is login test now open your browser on the address bar type localhost and the file name is uh, login test login test.html here specify a username and password first here I'm going to add some username and password and try to login here it shows that login failed and message user not found and please try again so now here there is only one user registered with the username probish123 and password is password now try to login with some valid data here the username is probish123 now password is password now try to login now here is the response login success and here is the name and email of the user 